Hello everybody. Today we're discussing the upcoming fifth installment to the Heartland Season 15, with the title Blood and Water. So far, in Season 15, we watch the Flemings struggling to provide security within their own ranch as serial break-ins grasped the Hudson. This struggle led to complex social discussions and suspicion toward the outcasts of the society. In the meantime, the characters' personal lives were busy as well. Amy was better than the last season as she was recovering from the trauma of losing Ty. She entered into a process of self-discovery and devoted herself to her career and the horses. Lou, on the other hand, was in a difficult situation as she neither had Mitch nor Peter in her life, and thus had to face the reality of being a single woman. Her job seems highly busy as well, since she has to satisfy the expectations of her voters while actually doing her job of making the Hudson a better place. Jack was overwhelmed with the harsh memories of the past, especially the ones about his father that troubled him a lot. The fact that he couldn't protect the Heartland Ranch also led him to be depressed, as he felt guilty and disappointed with himself. Tim, on the other hand, continues to be the Tim we know, the annoying but charming man who recently got married to Jessica. It seems like Episode 5 will build on these previous themes in the season, by adding new incidents that will contribute to the specific character arcs. In the preview, we saw Jack addressing Tim. He said that they got a problem as those guys hired for the cattle drive have backed out. Tim seems disappointed with the news, asking seriously. In response, Lisa says that she can come along to assist the process. Lou joins her, as well as Jessica. That's to say, in this episode, we're expecting the Flemings to go on a cattle drive journey, which is known for its difficulties for the cowboys and the cattles. Cattle driving is a centuries-long practice that witnesses the moving of a herd of cattle from one place to another under the management of cowboys with horses. The aim is often to transfer the massive herd of livestock to marketplaces or shipping points. Another common aim is to find a fresh grassland for the cattle to feed. The practice is a well-known one throughout the world. However, it's introduced by European colonizers in North America, including Canada, where Heartland takes palace. The invention of the railroads in the 19th century transformed the cattle drive process remarkably, as the cattle drives started to lean toward the locations with the railroads that have railheads. These locations are often referred to as cow towns, where the cattle can be sold in the market. The cattle drives often witness a large amount of animals. The biggest recorded cattle drive so far, however, is the one that took place back in 1871 when 700,000 cattle moved from Texas to Kansas. In the modern day, the aim in having cattle drives is mostly to have new pastures for the cattle and enable the ranchers to hay their fields so that the animal can be fed in the winter time. Thus, cattle drives often take place in either spring or fall. The fact that Heartland will tackle this issue in the upcoming episode is highly exciting as it's a traditional practice with high importance for ranch life. We believe that the Flemings might come across some unexpected incidents during their journey. For instance, Rivers are often seen as particularly dangerous for the cattle drives as animals have difficulty in crossing them over. The modern vehicles, especially cars, also cause threats to the animals in their long journey. Therefore, it's crucial for the process to be handled by the professional cowboys. Even though the Flemings are experienced ranchers, their speciality is not on cattle drives. Naturally, the process will be a difficult task for them to tackle. In the second part of the preview, we see Amy scared to death as she comes across a bear. A bear is also one of the many risks that the cattle drive journey has. Although we don't anticipate any serious results, such as injuries, after this journey, it's clear that the Flemings will have to face some major fears that will make them question their decision to do a cattle drive. Heartland is absolutely no stranger to having its characters heavily injured, even hospitalized. In fact, when we look back to the most prominent episodes of the show in the past 14 years, we realize that most of those shows were revolving around an injured character whose life is at risk. Since those episodes proved to be beloved by the Heartland audience, the series showrunners may choose to go in that path as well and cause pain to one of our beloved characters in this episode. It would certainly be beneficial for the show's sake as it's still trying to recover from the relatively low ratings of the previous season. However, we aren't sure how it would fit into the plot of the season as we expect Heartland to surprise us rather than repeating the old scenarios over and over again. On the bright side, the cattle drives are often regarded as touristic activities in modern days. If Loom enjoys the ride, she can turn it into a tourist attraction while also promoting the Dude Ranch. In other words, the tourists can accommodate in the Dude Ranch while having touristic cattle drives on the days. 
since Lou has already proved herself to be a smart businesswoman who knows how to make money out of anything. We wouldn't be surprised to see her turning this difficult journey into her advantage. If Lou misses this opportunity, Jessica would definitely come up with some marketing idea as she is a mastermind in the business. What do you think of the Episode 5 preview of Heartland Season 15? Are you hopeful for the episode? Have you enjoyed the season so far? Let us know what you think in the comments below. Thank you for watching. See you soon.